Hey, it's that time again. We get one month, 28 days to be exact, to acknowledge Black history. Class, can someone tell me what Black History Month is? Ooh, I know, I know. Black History Month is a commemoration for Black activists who took the time out to fight for what they feel is right. Yes, Amber, very good answer. There's Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, John Lewis, and the list goes on and on, but I'm just going to put on a movie for y'all to watch. I'm thinking Selma or Roots or 12 Years a Slave. So class, open up your notebooks and take notes. I would say you can take about a page. Now I'm sitting there wondering if a movie will really resonate. These other kids don't look like me, so how would they know the struggles I face? And I'd be lying if I said I was okay with the way they try to downgrade my history. And as this movie plays, I can feel the energy in the room start to dissipate. I'm still trying to wrap my head around how division somehow equals pigmentation and how the color of my skin somehow makes me love confrontation. And just because my hair is curly, nappy, and locked, I'm rebelling against society's demand. Wearing a hoodie makes me a thug, and reaching my pocket for my wallet can be mistaken for reaching for a gun. Having fear creep up my spine at the thought of having to try that much harder to stay alive. So you really think taking a few notes on a page is enough to facilitate my history? Now, I must admit, I found myself falling victim to aggression. My mind distraught. I'm in and out of depression, feeling muzzled, worthless, and having lack of expression, thinking history repeats itself. So yes, I too have questioned the progression. And in that same moment, I remembered one who looks down on us from heaven. Astounded how being immersed in others' opinions can make you question your self-worth. When really the only opinion that should matter is from the creator of this earth. We all have the same blood that is running through our veins. And for that reason alone, our God reigns. The hands of my ancestors that built this country and shaped my faith. The burdens that God carries and the mental bondage that he accepts with a warm embrace. The way God loves us all with no conditions or mention of race. That's the kind of love that no man can replace. I'm no longer chained, nor am I bounded. And yes, my skin may be darker than yours, but I no longer feel like I am surrounded. I know my worth is not rooted in the opinion of others, and I can't believe I hardened my heart because of skin colors. I choose to love like how God loves me, so despite of how you may see it, I'll still love you like family. So you can write my history in your movies and books, but the only one that knows my history is the God above. Take a drive for you. See, I take a life for you. See, I take a flight for you.